Captioning in DaVinci Resolve is a pain in the ass. So I've decided to make it a little bit less of a pain. That starts with me doing a series of videos completely dedicated to captioning in DaVinci. Starting with this one, if you've ever tried to do captioning in DaVinci, one of the problems you might come into is that if you have a text animation set up for one of your videos, that animation only lives at the beginning of the video file. So if I were to try to cut this video file here or use one of the built-in captioning tools, you're gonna lose that animation. So what I've done is I developed a set of titles that solve this problem. So right now I have the free caption templates that I have set up. And if I drag and drop one of these onto our timeline, you'll see that we have a pop animation. So if I were to play this, the video pops in and at the end of the text file, it pops out. You've got a couple controls here at the top of your inspector panel for whether or not you want to animate in, out, or you can add a little stretch effect, which is kind of fun. But now what I can do is if I have the subtitle set up here, I can cut this file at any location. And if I play this back, it is going to reset our pop animation, which makes it really dynamic, very reusable, and makes your life just that much easier when it comes to doing captioning. Now these files are completely customizable. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to install them, set them up, and then save your own presets like these so that you can drag and drop them on any project that you're working on. Now I currently have the free version installed, which comes with the pop animation for both a 24 FPS and 60 FPS timeline. To download and install these, there will be a link in the description for my Ko-Fi page, and that will link out to both the free and the paid version of this set. Either way, whatever version you choose to go with, you're going to get a singular DRFX file. And if you've never used one of these files before, it is very easy to set up and use. All you gotta do is double click it. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna pop open this little dialog box and for you, it's gonna ask, hey, do you want to install this file? Because I already have a version installed is saying, hey, do you wanna overwrite it? Click install or overwrite and give DaVinci just a second to think. And once it's all cut up, if you go over to your effects tab, go to the titles menu, there will be a new dropdown called Wampus. And depending on what version you choose to download, you will have the captions installed, ready to go. Now from here, you can scrub and hover over whatever animation you wanna preview and drag and drop them onto your timeline. But I just wanna call out real quick, the only one that is a bit laggy at this stage is the slide. It still looks and works great when you go to render it out, but when you try to preview it, it's just a little bit laggy. And I think it's because I have some options here for how you want this to animate in. So you have complete control if you want it to slide in from the left, and slide out from the right. Or if you don't want any starting animation and you want to just sit in the beginning, then when you go to play it, it has its out animation. But again, just like any of these captions files, if I were to cut this in the middle somewhere, it's gonna reset our animations. Now these are meant to be starting points for you to create your own style. So let me show you a couple of the options that you have to create whatever kind of caption that you're looking for. One of the more popular ones that you see coming out of programs like CapCut is this karaoke style animation where the words write on one word at a time. You have complete control over this with how you would like to look, including the highlight color that it highlights one word at a time. And the cool thing about all of these caption files is if you wanna add some other effects or change the size or styling, you can do that. And the reason I say that is because there's, um, we have animations like this white one. If you don't want the white background, you can always just go over here, toggle that off and change the font color back to the white. And now you have just like a, a write on type of animation. And again, these are set up to be templates and completely customizable for you to create whatever you would like to. So let me show you what I mean. If I drag and drop in one of these captions, so let's play with the fan out one here for just a little bit. Say for instance, you don't want the glow. Well, it's really easy to remove that. All you gotta do is hop into the Fusion page. And now that I'm in the Fusion page for this caption, each one of these captions are set up as a group macro. And all that means is if I go over to this node here, I can double click to expand it to show you the nodes that build up this caption. So you could obviously click on one of these and play with some of these settings that are on there. Or if you want to remove the glow or the shake, just right click here, go to ungroup to remove the group macro side of it and then just delete these two nodes. Now we've gotten rid of the glow and we've gotten rid of the camera shake or the wobble aspect of this caption, but we still have the opening and closing animations. A real quick important note is that it is going to be important to ungroup your macro and your group before you'd start deleting nodes. A lot of times you won't have issues, but sometimes you can bump into some funny settings and things becoming disconnected. So I'd recommend ungrouping them. And if you do ever run into things that are just a little bit funky, Instead of ungrouping them, 
just go and turn the sliders all the way down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through how I set up my own captions that I use on all the short form videos that I edit. I'm gonna start with the pop 60 file. Let me go ahead and drag and drop that in. I'm gonna toggle on the stretch animation. I want it to pop in and out. And then I actually am gonna update the font to something called Avidus. It's a very bold, fun looking font. I'm gonna hop into the fusion page real quick. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a subtle glow to it. I like adding just glows like this because it adds a little bit of a gradient if you were to change the color at all. And we don't want it to be too strong, just a little, you know, just a little something there. I think that's actually just a little bit too big. So let me bring down the size just a smidge. And let's say for the creator that I'm working for, they like the color of their uh, captions to be yellow. Yellow, mm, yellow, orange. Let's go with something like that. Do a quick playback and that, I mean, it's very subtle, but it works great. A lot of times with captions like these, you don't want the animations to be overbearing because you want people to read the text that is uh, is coming on screen. So now if I want to save and reuse this in any project, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my media pool. I'm gonna go over and drag and drop this in. By doing that, what I've done is I've saved this as a fusion title for this specific project. So actually I can drag and drop this back down and we have all of our settings good to go. Now that's great for this project, but how would we set it up to use across any project? What I would recommend doing and the probably the easiest way to do this is just set up a power bin. Power bins are folders that get shared across your DaVinci Resolve database. So if I put it in there correctly, I'll have access to it anywhere I go. Again, we're gonna be in our media pool and what you wanna look for are these three dots in the upper right hand corner. You wanna make sure show power bins is on. Once you do that, you'll get this little sub uh, section over here called Power Bins. If I click on this, I already have some templates already set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag and drop this into our Power Bin. Now we have our Pop 60 preset saved, ready to go across any project. And like I said at the beginning of the video, these work with any of your favorite uh, subtitle to text plus converters that you already use in DaVinci Resolve. So I have Snap Captures installed, Shadow Orson Lord, the man is a legend. So if I wanted to use something like that, I can drop my template into the Snap Captions folder, go to Workspace, Scripts, Comp, Snap Captions. And I'm gonna look for my Pop60 template, go ahead and hit Generate. And if I go all the way to the top up here, we have our template ready to go set up. Captioning is by far the thing I get asked about the most. So I hope these can help you guys out. And if you're curious about how you can actually automate this process or how you can customize and make your own template that you can install, click one of these videos here. I appreciate you guys and I'll catch you in the next one.